So in today's video, we're gonna be dealing with a customer's pinch point on how to set up your brand new Windows 11 PC or notebook. Now, I'm gonna be walking you through what they call the Windows out of the box experience and all the configurations that you should be selecting and some of the things that you shouldn't be. Now, stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna go through some pro tips on how to remove bloatware on your PC that helps slow your machine down. So let's jump on a PC and get started. So to set up your Windows 11 PC, is done in five key stages. Our first stage is to set up your language and your keyboard. So in the first option, you're going to click the country that you're based in and then click on yes. Next, we're going to choose the keyboard layout that we're using and then click on yes. Next, if you have an additional keyboard layout that you use, choose it by clicking add layout, choosing the keyboard layout of your choice, but in our case, we're not, so we're just going to skip this step. Now, we're gonna be moving on to step two. Step two is about setting up your network and initial updates. So, if you're not using a network connection, you're gonna be using wireless. So choose the wireless network for your home or your office, enter the password, and when you're happy, click on next. Now click next. Next, the PC will check for initial updates for your PC. Now, this may take a little while, so just sit back and be patient. Next, you will be shown a license agreement for Windows. You should read this and accept it. So that completes step two. Now we move on to step three. This is to do with personalizing your PC and privacy. Now you can name your PC. This is useful for recognizing your PC when connecting to it from another device. But this is not critical, so you can always skip this step for now. When done, click Next. Now we need to sign in with a Microsoft account. Now this is very important because Microsoft, like most other providers like Google and Apple, want you to use their online account facilities. So if you don't have a Microsoft account, it's a smart idea to get it set up in advance or do it now by creating one. Either way, enter your Microsoft email and click on Next. Now enter your Microsoft account password and click sign in. At your next screen, you'll be asked to restore your PC or set up a new PC. Now, assuming this is a brand new computer, we're going to choose set up a new PC and click on next. Next, we need to choose a Windows pin. Now this is called Windows Hello and is a mandatory setting and is what you'll be using to sign into your PC going forward. So we really recommend that you choose a strong pin number. Windows will warn you and tell you that you're not using something complex. So don't try and use something like 12345 or any other basic pin number. When finished, click OK. Next, we need to activate location services. Now this is useful for setting things up like weather apps. So go ahead and click yes and accept. Next, we're going to set up find my device. Now this is always useful, especially if you're using a laptop or mobile device. So I'm gonna click yes and then click accept. Next, we're gonna decide whether we want to send diagnostics data that's optional or is it required. I normally just say required only and then click on accept. Our next question is whether we want to improve our ink and typing data that is sent back to Microsoft. Now normally I just choose known for this option and then click on accept. Next, we look at tailored experience with diagnostic data. I always choose no and then click on accept. Now we can go through a whole bunch of customization that helps you with your own personal experience with the PC. So you can go ahead and select a whole bunch of items that relates to your specific needs. And if there isn't anything, you can always click on skip this stage. If you would like to use the phone app, you can go ahead and scan the QR code. Now there are different instructions depending if you have an Android or an iPhone, if you're not interested, just go ahead and click on skip. Now we move on to stage four, which is about what Microsoft services you want to use on this PC. First, we look at using OneDrive to backup or synchronize your files to the cloud. Now this is highly recommended. And if you don't have an Office 365 subscription, you'll be limited to five gigabytes of cloud storage. However, if you do, you'll get the full one terabyte of storage available to you. So click on backup my files and then click on next. Next, you can choose whether or not you would like to back up your phone's photographs. I'm going to skip this task for the moment. We'll come back to that possibly in a later video. 
If you've used Microsoft Edge before on a different machine, you can go ahead and import your browser data. If not, click on Not Now and click on Next. Finally, we can go ahead and accept whether or not we want to take advantage of Microsoft 365 facilities. Now, if you don't have a Microsoft 365 subscription, that's fine. So you could just choose to decline the offers that Microsoft make to you or you can go ahead and accept them. Right now, as of the making of this video, Microsoft offer you a free Microsoft 365 subscription, which gives you access to Word, Excel, and PowerPoint in the cloud. And also don't forget that five gigabytes of cloud storage. So go ahead and click on next. Now, if you're a gamer, this gives you the opportunity to join their PC Games Pass, which is a subscription based service and allows you to download the latest games onto your PC. If that's no interest to you, go ahead and skip that for now. Your fifth and final stage is to go ahead and install those critical updates. So go and get yourself a cup of tea or coffee, sit back and relax and let the PC download and install all those updates. Once that's complete, you're all done. Windows has been updated and you're ready to rock and roll. So the only thing left is to check what bloatware or services you can switch off that will end up slowing down your PC. So one of the annoying things that I turn off is the Microsoft search bar. Now the Microsoft search bar has some great use cases, but I find it normally gets in the way. So first, right click on your taskbar and choose taskbar settings. And at the top in the search taskbar item, choose hide in the search bar options. You can choose whether or not you want your tasks and widgets function on or off. You can toggle the, these to your own personal choice. Next, we're going to head over to the task manager and here we're looking for items that we want to turn off from startup. Now, normally there's a whole bunch of extra stuff in here. However, as this is a brand new machine, you can see this relatively empty at this stage. Now, this is worth revisiting in time and turning off any of those applications that end up in your startup, which ends up slowing down your PC. As a clear example, things like Microsoft Teams, we don't need that starting up at the beginning of every time you boot your machine. So I tend to turn it off. Next is a security one and we're going to go into Windows Security and we're going to turn on the two services that you can see here. The first is application and browser control. This helps protect you from potential unwanted applications being installed on your PC. So go ahead and turn it on. When prompted, click yes. Next, we're going to go and turn on device security. Now this is helpful to help secure any attacks that inserts malicious code into high security processes. Now this will require a system reboot. So once complete, go ahead and restart your PC. Sign back in and we'll check that the security is all set up. So there you go, your PC is now fully set up and good to go. All you need to do now is install your antivirus software of your choice, all your applications or games, and you're good to go. So there you go. Those are the things that we recommend that you configure when setting up your brand new PC or laptop with Windows 11. Now, hopefully you found that useful. If so, give us a like and subscribe. My name's Rob from Rollers Computer Services. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.